you so much. Very kind of you, Latex Christmas tree. <coughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> and Trillosaurus, thank you so much. Wow, thank you guys. Thank you guys so much. Very kind of you. Very kind of you. Welcome to the stream, Trillosaurus Rex. Thank you so much for joining. Um, wow, thank you guys. We're, we've made real progress today in getting to the, um, to the 100, um, 100 subscribers by the end of September. Wow. Thank you so much, guys. I would like to go first. This is how you get the sub hype going, right? <laughs> okay. So, Ludicargo Cargo versus I don't know what. And thank you guys so much for the support. Very kind of you, especially Latex Christmas Tree. Um, for all the sub gifts that you've given out today. And okay, so we're gonna start Bull Picks which is not bad by any means. And we have the double bull trouble here. In order to search for Pokemon, we already have Red Candy as well. And we have the turn one Lily. So things are looking good. And we're up against Zorak, which I feel like is a really good matchup for us. I feel like Zorak is potentially a really good matchup for us. So I'm gonna go ahead and search for Lothad. It's scary to attach energy turn one to Lothad though. It's generally very scary to attach energy, but I think I have to. If he has Guzma DC, uh, if you had Lele Guzma DC, he has it, right? We did Mulligan once. Uh, we do have Rare Candy. Um, I'm gonna bench the Coco. I feel like Coco is gonna be very useful. We do have Rare Candy into Ludicolo next turn, which is nice. <laughs> he tried to give us up to Pokemon Twitch channel, but it wouldn't let me. <laughs> That's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. Okay. Repo, you're next on the list. Yeah. Paul, isn't it a bit strange that you got basic water and DC on turn one? Yeah, it's a glitch, right? Like, I'm not supposed to get energy until like turn five with every deck. <laughs> You've seen people get sub to Nintendo? <laughs> you already tried the only Sylvan deck before, right? Uh, what do you mean the only Sylvan deck? <laughs> I haven't played Sylvan today, no. Okay, so Golisopod doesn't hit me for weakness, that's good. We don't get charged, that also, that's also good. Riahisama, thank you so much for being here. Riahisama is another person who's gifted quite a few subs on this stream. So I really appreciate it, guys. I really appreciate it. I have not played Sylvian today, no. I have not played Sylvian today. Okay, so we see a pass. Very nice top deck. We have the Ludicolo. I mean, I could actually just start sniping here. Is going aggressive the right call or is going for my full setup the right call here? Because if he has Guzma, DC, Golisa, but he can knock out my Ludicolo. So getting some protection against that feels good. And I mean, who needs Macargo, right? <laughs> I'm gonna save the... Uh, well, if my plan is to use Guzma, then I'm gonna swing dance for sure. Oh no, I should have played Guzma and the choice band, then instructed and then Guzma, but I can still do that. Okay, so I'm gonna shrine. I'm gonna Guzma. Gosh, Lidicolo is so good, right? Uh, Zorg isn't playing field lore. I'll just play the choice band. Now let's instruct. Let's instruct for two, and we get the Slogma. Oh my gosh, this deck is absolutely broken, guys. This deck is absolutely broken. Davy Sylvian 4 for line only. Um, I mean, I could give it a try. Not today, I don't have it built yet, but I could give it a try eventually. Um, don't look it. Maybe this is a dated question, but how did you beat Igor in the Sylvian Mirror in Portland? It is a nightmare of a matchup, Double Cup Faded. I'm actually very surprised that you remember that I played against him um, in Portland. This is what happened. Um, he started Hoopa and I didn't. I started BB. So that, was, that gave me an advantage. And what I kept doing was I kept bringing up his Hoopa. Or, yeah, he kept. I kept bringing up his Hoopa um, so that he would miss turn turns of magical ribbon and then 
on those turns where he missed Magical Ribbon, I would um, I would be able to um, flip uh, with Team Rocket's handiwork to try and take him out. I flipped so many double tails, but in the end, the match came down to I played a double. Uh, I mean, I played a Team Rocket's handiwork, and he um, and I hit his two loose amines. So that stopped him from uh, from being able to recycle his supporters, and that's how I beat him. Yeah, that's how I beat him. <laughs> and obviously, we only played one game. We only had time to play one game. <laughs> okay, so the enhanced hammer, not very nice. Uh, my opponent needs Kukui, basic Kukui to knock me out. Oh my gosh, did he get it? Did he actually get it here? So that's how I beat him, double cup faded. Okay, Coco. Did he already play Kukui? Yeah, he probably already played Kukui and I missed it. And gets the stadium replacement. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So here's here's why order of things matters. My opponent could have saved the enhanced hammer, right? My opponent could still have an enhanced hammer for another Ludicolo. However, because um, he played because that was the first card he played. He actually doesn't have that enhanced hammer anymore And we're gonna nest ball and fail it because we top decked the low tad And I I honestly think I'm not gonna attach energy I am going to Cynthia His deck is more busted. <laughs> I mean potentially and how is Sol doing? Sol is doing really well. Thank you guys so much for asking. Um, okay. I 100% should go for the beacon, right? And I'll grab Amakargo. I'll grab a Ludicolo. <laughs> They're asking about Sol. So Sol is doing really well. Here she is. <laughs> Here is Sol with my girlfriend. <laughs> Uh, she's camera shy. <laughs> We're going to fight. Okay. So yeah, Sol is doing really well. Thank you guys for, for asking. Um, sounds like a horrible matchup indeed. Our game was not on stream. No. <laughs> like our game was not on stream. They should have though. They should have streamed it. It would have been epic to to have the the double lose. I mean, discarded, recorded on stream. <laughs> It's wise to praise the deck after we had a commanding victory. Okay, yeah, losing the slogma. I knew we would lose the slogma here. Losing the slogma is a big deal. Losing the slogma is actually a big deal. The good thing is we have, um, like, we're a non-GX deck, so we have time, right? We have time. And my opponent has already lost two shrines, so spreading here doesn't seem terrible. Um... Bull Trouble for Slogma also feels kinda good. Kinda. And I'm choosing to use Lily here because I already have the Macargo and I have Ludicolo, so I could have gotten. Um, I could have gotten. Um, 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 I can't speak today. I could have gotten uh, a rare candy, right? Could have found a rare candy. I assume my opponent's going to goose mummy again. Um, so that's why I wanted to keep the pressure with that. Yeah, immediately the goose mob before even finishing trading. Uh, not setting up my cargo though. Not setting up my cargo is what's going to cost us here. I mean, if I got very candy Lodi Colo, that would be fine, but oh well. Oh well. I wouldn't having everything on that first turn was huge. Well, not on that first turn. Wow, he has two enhanced hammers. You're kidding me. <laughs> Jeez. You guys just put everything in your decks. How do you feed everything? 
Oh. Nest Pulse, Time Roll, Lily, Kukui, Judge, Enhance Hammers. Everything. Okay, and I don't. My Lombre is priced as well. <laughs> my Lombre is priced as well. Shrine is doing some damage, but probably not enough. If I don't take a KO here, I am going to be in a terrible spot. So, how many Guzmas? Two Guzmas. He's gonna have another one. He's for sure going to have another one, right? I'll just put this guy on the bench and then I'm going to. Cynthia? Ugh. Jeez. <laughs> this is so horrible. So I'll beacon then. I'm pretty sure I'm done here. I'm pretty sure I'm done. If he finds another Guzma, I am done. If he doesn't find another Guzma, maybe I have a chance. Maybe. The shrine is not relevant anymore though. Because he has full bench, so I would get I would be getting knockouts no matter what. And potential quadruple trade to find your third or fourth Guzma is very realistic, so we're not gonna win this one either. Not having that bench Slokma early on is what really hurt us. That's what really really hurt us. And yeah, indeed, double cup faded. <laughs> that double, that handiwork discard was on point. I think it got to a point where if I didn't hit that, I was going to lose. I'm pretty sure it got to that point. Oh my gosh. See, this wouldn't be terrible if I could just get work Candy Ludicolo. But I can't. I should have attached that energy. To at least distract, right? To take away attention from the slug man. that probably would have been better i might have actually also like not spread maybe that was a big mistake of mine maybe that was my mistake yeah i'm pretty sure i'm done here i am pretty sure i am done i'll shuffle i mean I'll get this Logma, <laughs> we'll keep trying. And then I need Rare Candy, Ludicolo, DCE. Yikes, big yikes here. Oh no, I need to retreat into the beacon. I didn't mean to let go of the button. We're, we're done here though, we're done. So there's never a point to either Fairy Wind or try to pull up Hoopa and play their Sylveans. Yeah, like if they have the, if they bench the Hoopa or if they start Hoopa, then you bring up the Hoopa, right? Because I don't think you try to go for prizes. You just like, you, you bring up the Hoopa continually. And then what you do is you, you try and discard resources with handiwork, right? You go for Lusamine, handiwork, Lusamine, handiwork, Lusamine, handiwork, until they can retreat. And when they retreat, then you bring it up again, right? I'm pretty sure like Igor took, maybe he started Hoopa and I started Ralts and he took a prize somewhere down the line and because I remember using Counter Catcher against him. I distinctly remember using Counter Catcher against him. Uh, if I had Beacon, I would still lose this game. Because my opponent surely has Palpad, right? My opponent surely has Palpad. One, two, three, energy. Unless the DC is his last prize, we're done here. Yeah, there's a ball pad. Oh well. Can't catch a break here today, you guys. In the last few games, <laughs> I've just been awful. And then my opponent with uh, Shadow Lab with a Ray Vika Vault. He couldn't catch a break then. So I'm just gonna go ahead and. Oh, well, I won't. Con yeah, I'll concede. Right? I'll concede. GG, Red Bat, sorry I couldn't pose a better game, but Repo, you're up next, yeah, Repo, you are up next, so if you are ready to go, please send me a challenge.